This, vi this video is for uh, any period tracker users who might have accidentally deleted the app after the update when it was crashing and reinstalled it. If you deleted the app, then the data from your um, iPhone has been deleted. And so we need to try to go back into your computer um, and find any iTunes backup that um, your computer did and try to pull any period tracker files from your past um, iTunes backups. Here's um, how you do it on the Windows computer. Um, basically, you need to download this app called iPhone Backup Extractor. We'll have it on our webpage. Um, in the folder you download, there will be these two files. You, you double-click the, the program file, and uh, you run it. And it will lead you through five steps. The first step is you accept the license. And then you choose um, your backup. Um, hopefully, you'll have more than one backup um, listed. And the key is you want to choose a backup that's right before when you um, uh, your user data was deleted or your app was deleted um, before you installed the the seven point zero two update. And so, um, let's say you installed the update October fifteenth, and you want to try something before October fifteenth. So you click uh, that backup that you want to kind of uh, go into, and then you're going to uh, select the Restore Some or All Files from Backup manually here. Um, now the problem with iTunes backups is that sometimes iTunes backups will just um, back up one backup for, and sometimes they'll they'll keep several backups. So hopefully your computer will have kept several backups and you'll have at least one backup from before you installed the update. Um, now we want to go into the application folder of your backup and select period tracker or com.com.gpapps.ptracker uh, go into documents and select the first one notes.xml and click next. The con concept is we want to pull your data files from the peer tracker kind of user data um, folders and then email it to us. And then we'll make a custom build where it'll have that information in the build and you'll, you can get your data back. So this is going to be um, extracting that file and uh, be, it'll put it on the desktop. And so rather than doing finish, you can just go back, actually, because we need to export the other files as well. And so I'm going to click periodData.xml. I'm doing one at a time because the free version of iPhone Backup Extractor will only let you um, export one file at a time. I click Next again, um, just anywhere on your desktop. It's going to uh, actually save it in the same folder that it did um, uh, the first file that, that I exported. And then it's going to export it, the second file. And then I'm going to click back and back. And then I'm going to uncheck the second file and check the third file, period and data.xml. Next, next. I'm going to wait for it to export. And then I'm going to go back for our last file. So there's uh, four things you need to export. So unclick the third file, and I'm just going to click the library folder. Um, and that's my fourth item I need to export. I'm going to click, click, next, and then wait for that to export. And I'm going to finish because I've exported all four items. And then I'm going to show you, this is um. On your desktop, there will be an application folder that's been exported. You're going to see a com.gpapps.peertracker. In that, you'll have documents and library. And you'll see your different um, files that were exported here. And what you want to do is you just want to um, uh, right-click, and then you want to um, basically um, you want to zip that folder. Um, so you can send to compressed zip folder. This is on a Windows XP. And it will basically zip your folder. And then you want to email us this uh, folder. 
And um, once we get this email, we will take the data, build it into a custom Pure Tracker app for you, email that build back to you so you can build it on your iPhone, and you can have the data um, from that files. The only limitation is that the date of your backup, that's going to be where it gets its user data from. And so um, if your backup's been a few months then you uh, ago, then you might lose the data from a few months. But at least you, you probably get some of your data back. And so this is um, the Windows ver version of how to extract uh, period tracker user data from an iTunes backup file. Um, and this will be posted on our webpage with further instructions.